should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. And today it's Real Madrid against Leicester City. Alan, one of your old clubs, Leicester City. You must have some deep insight into this team. Well, this side is tipped to finish mid-table, but uh, the way they're playing, they're not even going to do that. Usually they've got plenty of games to turn it around if they could just lift themselves. If Real Madrid come calling to any top player in any other club in any other country in the world, the answer is usually yes, please, isn't it? Difficult, almost impossible to turn them down, to pull on that white kit. What an honour. It's an honour, isn't it, to be here at the Bernabeu. It is an iconic football stadium. And Real Madrid stand for so much that's good in the game. It has got a certain magic attached to it, and I have to say I've been to all the big stadiums in Europe, in the world, and this is my favourite. We've got room to hit this. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Shot on. That's well, well wide. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. And that pass, just subtle little clip pass in, really. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a... Here's a chance! Oh, very close, had the crowd on its feet, but it was too high. Having played the advantage, he's now going back to deal with the infringement that he could have blown for, and the offender's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, I wonder whether he thought he got away with that because the play was allowed to go on, but no, he sees yellow. his man can he do it Bale still a chance in there off the goalkeeper James Okazaki now James shots on here what a fine save opportunity now and it's in the net for the goal What an enjoyable goal to watch, it must have been great to participate in. Well, the keeper's a little disgusted with these defenders because they just hadn't come to his aid there after a good save. For the match, Martin Tyler here to describe it for you with my good friend Alan Smith. Yeah, hi there Martin. Walking into the ground today, I've just got that feeling. Feeling it's going to be a really good afternoon. Well, let's have your thoughts on the home side in this match. They've got to be careful this side, Martin, because... Uh, they are a mid-table outfit, but they've not performed to those expectations. And uh, if they can't pick themselves up, it could be a nasty old campaign for them. Sure. But he's caught offside. You can see what he's trying to do. It's all about the timing of the run. Olga Sawara. Now Endo. Here's Doi. That's a good challenge. Kanazaki. He's cut it out well. And shoots! Very close. Just over the top of the crossbar.
And we're looking at the quality of, of women's football here and, and the Arsenal, your old club, they were very much at the forefront of developing it in uh, the UK. They were, yes, many years back now. Vic Akers, who's now the kit man at Arsenal, he was the manager for a number of years and uh, really enjoyed a lot of success. And it is a game played with real skill, perhaps not quite the physicality of the men's game, but in some ways the spectacle... <laughs> can be more enchanting because of that yes and uh, i think the pace of the game has increased over the last few years certainly the technical ability is getting better and better all the time and shoots great stop well, they've got to be careful with these early challenges the referees penalized that one we're very early in this game aren't we and the yellow card out straight away that maybe it could be difficult for the player it is going to be maybe for the ref as well The match today is England against Denmark. Well, this is a match-up between two international teams today. The disadvantage, Alan, is that they don't play together very often. The positive, of course, is they are the country's very best players. They are indeed, and we have got some quality players to enjoy out there today, but uh, as you say, not all of them have played together too often, so there might be a slight lack of understanding at times. Well, over 50 years since England were last world champions, but in 2017, their under-20 team became world champions and offered hope for the future. Got the ball there and dealt with the danger, really. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. This might be it! Goal! Well, it's a very good goal and much deserved the way the team are playing. Yeah, the stats don't lie, the number of shots on target, no surprise that they've scored. Well, the opposition was caught napping there on that breakaway, and he's just gone all the way, hasn't he? What a fine individual effort. Today. The game today for you is Kaiser Chiefs playing against Los Angeles Galaxy. Kaiser Chiefs just playing good music, but playing good football. And that is Alan Smith's domain, Alan. Well, they've enjoyed a sensational run, haven't they, last 10 games. Hardly put a foot wrong this side. I just wonder whether they continue this run of form. The referee here is Josh Brithwell. Well, the defenders just stood rooted to the spot on the edge of the box, and what a poor one to concede. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. 